after many, many, many of you over the past year asking and begging for me to do a part two of my um, 50 cute ways to write a title, I'm giving you yet another 30. Let's get right on into it. <laughs> So the first one is, uh, of course, a little rectangular, simple title border kind of outline. And then I just love adding some little accents here and there to opposing corners. And it just looks real cute. And <laughs> in my last video, I, I saw so many, so, so, so many of you commenting um, how much I say the word cute and nice. And so many of you just commenting stuff like, take a shot every time she says the word cute and I was like don't do that you will die <laughs> I see it a lot so number two is a little shadow kind of reflection uh, I think this looks really nice honestly especially if you're doing it as, a, as a title for like a poster or something I think it just gives it a lot of pizzazz and it takes no effort so it's just writing down the exact same word but very italic and uh, on the other side it's just, I think it just gives it so much, it makes it look like you did a lot of work. You put in a lot of effort when it just really takes like 30 seconds. Here I'm just giving you for number four a, an example of what you could do for a longer title because a lot of you asked me for examples for long titles which makes sense because most of the examples I gave in my first video were for mainly small like two or three worded titles but this one it's kind of interadjustable interadjustable is that a word I don't know but you can just use it for as long as you want and then of course I have to address the subject that my first video of these reached a million views. It still sounds so weird to say, it's just weird, okay? It was my first video to reach anything above t uh, 10, 20 thousand views, so it was really mind-blowing and I actually didn't even realize until some of you sent me DMs <laughs> with um, with those screenshots. So thank you so much for letting me know because I would have probably have noticed. But it is honestly just so weird, um, and I just want to say a big, 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 big thank you to everyone. And um, yeah, I'm just kind of doing this video also as a very, very huge thank you. Here I'll just give you a couple of cursive ideas, and this header one looks a mess because I did it very much on the fly, but. You guys can just figure it out. It just takes a lot of scribbling and swirling around the word and with some practice you can uh, really get some cute titles out of it. This one, number 11, is really, really nice and petite and simple, but it just, it looks like little pixie wings and I think it, it's, uh, it's very adorable and yeah, it's really down some people's lanes, so. Uh, I couldn't miss out on some banners, like that's the classic title decoration. Um, I think in this video I gave you two different banner designs that you can do. Um, of course you have this one which is very classy, very elaborate. It's just basically doing a bunch of little thinner ribbons uh, at the bottom using the same kind of technique that you use for the big ribbon at the top. I just think it looks really nice. Again, nice. <laughs> I should probably do a count on how many times I do it in this video. Uh, if you do count how many times I say the word cute and nice, do let me know in the comments because I'm curious now. <laughs> this 13 one is probably one of my favorites from this entire spread. It's kind of like a little potted garden and I think it's absolutely adorable. So you just draw a little rectangle around your title and then just draw some little flowers of your choice coming out of it. And it just, just looks adorable. And I, I, I love plants. I, so this is just perfect for me. I've been really obsessed with drawing little stars and sparkles around everything, not just titles, drawings as well. It's been a very recent obsession. I don't know why, so I couldn't miss out on showing you guys how I do it. It's just sporadic sparkle doodling. There's no science to it. Uh, the same goes for flowers. If you're more of a flower person, um, you can do the exact same thing. And what I do at the end, just to make it look all tied up and nice, is just make some little dots around everything. 
I don't know why, but it works. <laughs> This one is for um, my simple peeps out there, the like more simple titles. I use this one a lot in my bullet journal, um, number 16. Number 17 is pretty uh, cute. It looks really nice for, again, small titles, so one, maybe two worded titles. But yeah, basically just draw the same wiggly line, but inversed, so every time you drew uh, an upwards arch, you're now gonna draw a downwards arch. And I think it looks cool. <laughs> Here I'm just giving you a rundown of some examples of how you could write um, your titles with your headers or your subtitles. A lot of people were asking me in my last video, what is a header? It's basically a, a, a sub-chapter of what you would write after your title. So it, it, what I, the best way that I can describe it is like a chapter name in a book. That's like a header, really. It's like an extra divide. You would have like in your notes for school, you can have like history as the title and then have um, Roman Empire as a header, if that makes any sense. Also, I just want to say that I absolutely love the number 21. It's one of my favorites that I did and, and also 23. Um, I just really love how simple they are and how you only need um, uh, like an extra color to give it um, like a, a more alive look. It makes it look like you actually put a lot of effort into it, um, but you really didn't. I also love how for number 21 you can use it for numbers as well, for numbering things um, on your page. Some of you asked me for those as well for this video, so I hope you like that one. <laughs> This is, again, my other banner slash ribbon design. Um, it's more advanced, I guess you could say, than your average ribbon, uh, but it looks really nice um, nonetheless. Of course, to make it more original, you can always add your own little doodles around it. I just think it looks real nice. And this one, uh, it's actually a little example that you can do number one differently, the first one you did in this video. This one is again for all those little sparkle lovers like me. It's just basically drawing a, a sparkle consecutively smaller on each side as like a little line divider and this one again, they were poorly executed because I was already getting tired from drawing on the floor, but you get the gist. It was just basically stars everywhere. And this one, of course, you know what's coming, shadows. Uh, of course, couldn't miss out on any shadows. It's very similar to one I did in the first video, but it's just a different cursive kind of font, and I think you guys would enjoy it. And for number 30, the last one in this video, I of course had to go for some little leaves because uh, that's the aesthetic we all strive for, and I think this design is really cute, uh, like having the leaves wrapped up around the title. and. In a blink of an eye, we've gone through 30 more different ways for you to write your title. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed yet another one of these videos. Let me know if you want any more of them. And let's see if we can make this video get to another million views. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.